It's your girl boss lady and I am here with another Australian about to make huge waves in the United States, Iggy Azalea. I know, now that you said that, I totally know. I used to, yes. You remember you me? Said it, yeah. <laughs> you remember the magazine and mm-hmm. stuff? Yeah. Well, go on. We're gonna, we'll go down memory yeah, lane we will. after we will. the interview. But uh, so who is, who is Iggy Azalea? Iggy Azalea is. A rapper from Australia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what, 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 you're the, you've got the internet on fire right now, obviously. Right. And what can you tell people about what they're seeing? Who you are as a person, as an artist? Because people are talking about you and they may be making their own assumptions right now. I know, it drives me crazy. Everyone's like, she's fake. Mm. That's not blah, blah. I, I think it's kind of like a miss... Shit gets misconstrued sometimes or like sensationalized. Like, she came to America and put out a video. And I'm like, yo, I've been here since 2006. I did not come here like six months ago and then fluked it and put a video out. Mm -hmm. One thing you said when you did the interview with Complex recently, and I'll Mm -hmm. read it. You said, uh, hip hop is one, black culture, and two, it's male dominated. The reason why white male rappers can survive and are accepted is because they can relate to the masculinity of hip hop. And the reason black female rappers can survive is because they relate to being black. Where does a white female fit in? Right. I did say that. Yeah. I think, like, I went on to say after that, although Mm. he never printed it, we were talking about this book, The Tanning of America, and we're talking about how hip-hop as a culture has... It's an evolution, do you know what I mean? Hip-hop has moved racial issues forward. Exactly, and what it is then when that wouldn't work, now things are different and now because it's about more than what it was before or more than the main elements of it you can have places for other people to fit in not just white female rappers Mm. but a whole plateau of other people Mm -hmm. or now you see people like English rappers coming over here and things like that that before it's like I don't know if that would work but now there's more of a place yeah well I think America's embracing international things more than ever before anyway too I totally agree I totally agree so back home um, and I think it's probably the case with a lot of rappers that aren't from the states you get criticized instantly if your accent sounds American they'll say you're faking an American accent Mm -hmm. Um, how do you how do you deal with that? Because you do have a twang now. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? It's not really that you deal with it because really it's something that's not in my control. Mm. People are always going to think what they think. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's futile to really worry about it unless I'm going to change it, which I'm not. Mm-hmm. So it's like I can't... I can't worry about it. This is your first on-camera interview and I feel like you're already tired about talking about race. Right. It, well, because you know why? It's something that people want to talk about from like the minute I go to sleep, I see it. If it's on Twitter or if it's on Facebook or in a comment, and then the second I wake up, it's just like this constant thing. Or Iggy Azalea is my favorite white girl rapper. Iggy Azalea is good for a white girl. Iggy Azalea has a nice butt for a white girl and it's just like why do we have to do Mm. this Mm. it's so fucking stupid well speaking of your butt i read that you were rejected as a model at one point because you were too thick is that right yeah that's true i mean (laughs) i so it's come in handy now for this career i believe it's weird though because i so (laughs) don't feel like i'm thick i'm like i really feel like people think i'm like bigger than what i am i'm not that big but I am too fat to be a model. That is true. No, but have you seen how skinny not. they are? Yeah, God well, damn. depending on what type of modeling you want to do, I guess. Well, <laughs> I don't want to do baby oil modeling. Right. <laughs> baby oil modeling. I love it. Well, knowing that you love Tupac and, and as real as, as he was, what artists today do you aspire to work with and do you are you a fan of? I'm a super fan of Kanye. That's mm. so cliche, everybody is, no, but not. I am. Mm-hmm. I just love what he does visually, like when he did the painting that was a video that was moving. That was so epic to mm-hmm. me. I was like, oh, I want to be a Renaissance painting. Right. It was awesome. Oh, see. 
Kanye's about to put the call in like Iggy, I'm about to... I know, well, it's so funny because <laughs> Pusha, who signed to Good Music Now, is a really good friend of mine. He's kind of like, I always will send him my music. And they're like, what do you think? And he'd be like, it's all right. And I'll be yeah. like, shit. Yeah. I have to work harder. I want him to say he loves something. I well, as opposed, something. there could be other dudes out there that would say it was good, you know, right. just to say and it. just so. say it. He won't. He's like my toughest critic. So right. I'm like, secretly, I'll always be like, mm, maybe one day me and him will do a song. That's kind of like something I'd really like to because I super look up to Pusha. Like, I always tell people he's kind of like my rap mentor in a way because I'll send him stuff and he'll be like, you need to change, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Or even my project, he's like, mm. your project's okay, but mm. I've seen you do better. Why are you doing a song about pussy? I, you should really be spitting. Like. Well, I'm just, I mean, so so you write your rhymes. Right. Okay. Um, Ignorant Art is the mixtape. Mm -hmm. Tell people about it, why they should pick it up. You should pick it up because one, it's free. Mm -hmm. So why the hell not? <laughs> and why two, should they spend time listening to it? You know what? Because I think it's just what I was really trying to do with Ignorant Art is explore what music is and what good music is. People always say like, I'm really good friends with YG who did Tooted and Booted and people will always say to me, why, why do you work with him? He can't rap. That's not real rap. And so being that I lived a lot in the South and that kind of music's really popular. And I was always like, I really like this like ignorant music, mm. but I really like hip hop, hip hop too. And I like to write those kinds of rhymes and people would always be like, why do you write your raps like that? It's like you're trying to prove that you're smart. Like you're trying to say, I'm smarter than people. And I'd be like, well, shit, I don't know, maybe I am. Or maybe it's just that I'm a white rapper and people always be like, well, what's your, what's your bars? So it makes you sort of try harder. So I was like, I want to try to find this medium where it's like, it's ratchet, mm. but then it's still lyrically good. Right. So that's what it's about. It's like, it's a it's Well, that's a the holy grail for rap right there. Right, that's what yeah. I'm trying to get to. I still don't feel like I got all the way there, but maybe that's because it's art and it feels like mm. it's never done. I'm still trying to progress with it, mm. but that's what I'd say you will hear when you listen to Ignorant Art and why you should listen to it because it's just, I don't know, it's meant to make you think and ponder that question, you know what I mean? Mm. And figure out your own shit. You can listen to it and think it's absolute shit and at least you've come up with some kind of a conclusion, but that's what the point of the mixtape is, is to make you try to redefine what music is. And so it's at Iggy Azalea on Twitter? Yeah, just at Iggy Azalea. And go Not Izzy Azalea. Not Izzy. Iggy. God damn. Iggy. And go to your website to get the Ignorant Art mixtape. Yeah, IggyAzalea.com. IggyAzalea.com. It's very boring. It's just my mixtape. Very basic. I made it myself. But it's a good intro to, it is. to who you are yeah. and who you're going to be. Right. And, um, we appreciate you. Thank We're you. We're going to check back in with you very soon. I know. I'm so happy that I got to come because it's just like, it makes me think to when I used to sit at home and like really look at the computer and stalk your website. <laughs> and so it's so weird. It's, like, it's full circle be, now. It really is. It's just so strange. You know when you envision shit and you think like, I will have this, but in the back of your mind, you're like, will I really? And so it's just so cool to be able to come in, into your office and everything today mm. and be like, whoa. This is like where it all happens. And I'm here. Mm. And I used to be so in a whole other world far away from it. So it's just really cool. Well, I think we're living testament to kids right. can be from are. the other side of the exactly. world. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Make There's no excuse. Mm -hmm. Get some scissors. Fuck. Work it out. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you heard her. <laughs> pussy, pussy, pussy.